So when we're looking at this, right, guys, if I was going to solve this, I wouldn't want to solve this by graphing. Unless I want, I could graph this with the x and y intercepts, though, right? Yeah. Put zero for x and zero for y, solve x and y intercepts. Um, but to put this into y form probably wouldn't be that fun. Um, to solve by substitution, you'd have to isolate a y or an x. Probably still not going to be that fun. So the next thing is to look for our elimination. Now remember, we want to make sure that we have the same coefficient for the same variable. So I first look to the x's. Do those have the same coefficient? No. Then the next one, I look at these. Do these have the same coefficient without the sign? Do they have the same coefficient? Mm -hmm. Yes, they have the same coefficient. The value, the number is the same. But are their signs the same? No. No. So when their signs are different, we're going to use elimination by adding. adding. So all I'm simply going to do is the exact same thing I did like subtraction. But now I'm going to add them. So you have 3x plus 4x is 7x. 4y plus negative 4y is 0y. 2 plus 12 is 14. And then again, what happened was we eliminated the y variable. Because since they have the same, um, same sign, I'm sorry, same number with opposite signs, we eliminate that one we add. So we get 7x equals 14. Divide by 7, x equals 2. Then, once we know the value of x, we plug that back in. So we have 3 times 2 plus 4y equals 2. 6 plus 4y equals 2. Minus 6, minus 6. 4y equals negative 4. Divide by 4, y equals negative 4. So therefore, now I've figured out the value of x, which is 2. And then I plug that value back into one of the equations for x, and I solve for the value of y. So now I have an x and a y value, which I can write as a coordinate point. And if I was to think about this graphically, that's where those two lines would cross on a graph, would be the point 2 comma negative 1. Why is it addition this time? It's addition this time because we noticed that these, this, even though the, two co the coefficients of my variable had opposite signs, so you add them. When they have the same sign, you have to subtract. Oh, uh, yeah. like this. Uh, if I had 5. Like number 9 right there. Right. 5 and 5, to get that to be 0, you have to subtract, right? Yeah. But if you have 5 and negative 5, well, you don't want to subtract. You just add them up, right? Yeah. 0. And really what these have are like x's next to them. So it's still the same. Because that's what you want to get. You want to get 0 to an x. Raz, do you have a question? Do you have one? Yeah, you so get do you have a question? Yeah. Um, is this negative 4 divided by, or negative, yeah, negative 4 divided by a positive 4? Why would it be a negative 4? Would it be 0? No, 4 goes into 4 how many times? Uh, One time with a negative. Okay, um, think about it this way positive 5, positive 5, right? I need to get this to be a 0. So what do you have to do? What do you have to do with 5 and 5 to get that to be 0? Add or subtract? Subtract, right? So all I'm doing with these problems is you have an x and an x. So 5x minus 5x equals 0. So what I'm saying is, when you have two equations, or I'm sorry, two figure with the same coefficient where they are both positive, you subtract. Even if they were both negative. If these were both negative, a negative minus another negative still equals 0. Because that's what you want. You want when they have the same sign and they're the same, you're gonna you're gonna subtract. However, if I had like a negative five and a positive five, what do I need to do to get that to be zero? Just add. All you gotta do is bring them together, right? Because one they're the same, but one's negative, one's positive. Okay? So I wrote down those rules for a reason so you didn't have to think.